The Shore Trooper, specialist stormtroopers trained at the top secret Imperial military headquarters on Scarif. Shore Troopers patrol the beaches and bunkers of the planetary facility. Hello and welcome to Centaurian's Corner and today we are reviewing from the 50th Lucasfilm anniversary the archive series The Shore Trooper, or as I like to call it, The Scarif Trooper. So this guy come famous at the end of Rogue One. Another kind of set of troopers that Rogue One presented us that we haven't ever seen before in the Star Wars universe with the kind of Rogue One Imperial armor. It's nothing like what we've seen before. Apart from down here, this guy's looking quite like a sort of like a, a meaty biker scout. He's got like extra armor parts and all that. And I've never seen that before in the figure rather than just this picture here. Anyway, he's got his E11 here. We've got a few pouches and stuff and all that there. Um, on the back, it's just literally the Shore Trooper, his spill, and that picture once again with the 50th anniversary timeline on the front. And then, I guess, without further ado, let's just crack this bad boy open. So, here he is in his blister pack, and um, yeah, just looking exactly the same how we saw him, apart from his legs being missing down there. So, we've got his E11, and we just take him out and get our first impression. Yeah, he's pretty cool. I do like having the Imperials on the shelf and really sort of expanded on upon them. So we're going to take his pictures and we'll see you in a moment. So welcome back, we've been away and we've taken these photos and I must admit I do like this guy. Uh, obviously yesterday I did release out the hover tank driver but this guy for some reason I just prefer him a lot better and I think it's just the aesthetic of the actual armour and everything suits this guy so much more. He's just like a commander kind of scout trooper in a way and he looks really cool and meaningful and I love playing these guys in Battlefront as well uh, running around. So really, what does he come with? He comes with his E11 blaster, which is the same as the tank driver. So it's got that Rogue One look. We've got that extra sort of like gun part on the side here. Uh, maybe it's a torch. And also you can actually see this one's actually got some weathering compared to the hover tank driver as well. But it just seems weird that they have brushed it with silver, yet they're not actually colored in the little silver clip part there. It's all done in a gunmetal gray. And there's no sort of plastic or any kind of sort of um, molding kind of parts there. So it's still good. There's no actual holster or anything like that to put this in. So um, unfortunately, he's always going to have to hold it in these nice arms. Like the Hover Trooper as well, his articulation is pretty cool. And um, he can get in all manner of poses. So first of all, we've got the head. You go left, right, can look down this much. And you can look back up here. We've got a ball joint there, so we have got a slight bit of rocker going on in the head. We've got a full rotation here at the uh, shoulder. We've got a rotation here at the elbow. Arm can come up to about this far, but it does squidge in the arm a little bit. More than 90 degrees at the elbow bend. We've got a rotation at the wrist, and it's on the hinge. Rotation at the waist can look down quite far, and you can look back even further. Legs wise come up this way, forward, a little bit hindered by the skirt and back. Rotation at the waist or the upper thigh, shall we say. We've got a double jointed knee and we also got the rocker and the pivot at the ankle. So in all, this guy is still pretty cool, but yeah, compared to the hover tank guy, I just think this guy looks 10 times better. He just looks really nice. And um, I just love that kind of sort of, sort of sandy color. It looks pretty cool. And going through the actual sculpt itself as well, we can just really get into there where they've actually put in a lot of dirt and whatnot in the actual armor itself. And um, yeah, all around, we've actually got this kind of wash just all the way over his back as well. You can see it down here on the arms and whatnot. The actual sort of uh, kind of paintwork to the actual 
figure itself is a little bit sloppy in places as you can see down on the belt and everything here it's not actually fully painted properly and we've got a bit of overspill here on the arm but you know that could be just my figure itself this is really nice and crisp and clean around the side and so we've got the yellow dots and everything on this side here as well on here again it's not too bad we've got these sort of gold markings on that but it could be nice with a bit of a, a black wash on that to really sort of highlight the detail on the brown and again a bit more sloppy work down here down the legs we've got the texture again same as the hover tank driver and then down to his shins and everything on there we've got nice bits of mud and scuff and all up in the air and down to his brown shoes so in all i really prefer these guys they're really nice um, Black Series did actually release a kind of like a squad leader on this one where he has like the Kamara around and he has like a, a blue type up here. Um, so they did actually release him at one point. But if you're quite good at customising, you know, you could always just pick up another one of these guys uh, to create that other, that other trooper to go alongside of him. So um, you do options are there and they're good army building for $19.99. So would I recommend this guy? Yeah, I think I would. Out of probably all the archive ones out of this one, I didn't really worry about the the uh, Dark Trooper as I, or Death Trooper because I already had him. Um, you know, the Hover Tank Driver, if you like Rogue One. So it's really a big heavy focus on Rogue One. And obviously it is rumoured that they're going to bring out the Rogue One team as well, including Bodhi. So I don't know if it's the anniversary or whatnot of Rogue One. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't researched it, but maybe it's five years since it came out. I'm not too sure but that brings me to the end of the video thank you for so much for joining me in this one you can comment down below you can subscribe you can ding the bell and also you can follow me on instagram which is in the description below and you can find my merchandise and where i picked this guy up for 19.99 from amazon which i'm now affiliated with so if you do purchase it through the link it does help out to the channel so thanks once again and i'll see you next time bye